Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Danny from The Glittered Rose. Today I thought we'd have a look at the difference between hot foil stamping and heat embossing. This first card displayed on your screen is done by hot foiling. This second one I heat embossed. I embossed it twice, um, so I embossed it, inked it, then embossed it again. And what's quite different is that it changed the colour quite a bit. I'm not sure why the colour is different on the embossed card. Um, I'm wondering if there was some powder left on the cardstock and that may have altered the colour of the ink. I'm not sure. Either way, it's quite pretty. But the results are quite different. So for the heat embossed card, I use the embossing and watermark um, ink pad from Hero Arts. I also used the Hero Arts gold um, embossing powder. It's very pretty, it's very fine and it melts so beautifully. The Hello Friend is a hot foil plate which I've better pressed. I know this isn't recommended so don't try it if you're not confident. And the With Sympathy was um, hot foiled. The set that I used on these cards are from Pink Fresh Studio, Pretty Blossoms. I used um, the complete set, which is their hot foil set, hot foil plate, sorry, their rubber stamp, their die, and their stencils. I think it's an older set, but I think it's so pretty. And it worked well because I have both the hot foil and the stamp. Let's build a card together. I'm starting with cherry blossom. I'm just going to pop some ink down through my stencils. I think for this video, um, I'll just show you ink blending on one card. You don't need to see it twice. And I might cut out the bits that are uninteresting. Okay, so I'm just popping some ink through the stencils just smoothly. Don't freak out if you get some splotches. Pink fresh inks are so beautiful, they smooth themselves out and you don't notice where your whoopsie was anyway, half the time. Okay, so the second stencil is on and we're going in with Peony. It's just a little bit darker than the first colour, giving you that natural light and shade. Just in blending like we did before. Okay, so third stencil and we're going in with Begonia. Another darker colour, but same in the same family. It's very pretty. There's only a few details on this one. This one's a nice easy stencil to do. It's nice and easy to line up. I enjoy using it. <laughs> There's no frustrations like some of them. So fourth stencil is mint. I love the fresh colours of Pink Fresh. They really are nice and fresh. I really enjoy using them. I'm still learning to use their um, blending brushes. I find the tips are a little bit longer than other ones, so I don't find them as easy as as some other ones. But I'm sure you just you need to get the feel of them first. So we're on to the final stencil and we're using Meadow just for the details in the leaves. It's a bit of a slightly brighter colour. Looks great on top of the mint. Something that you need to be mindful about when you're thinking of heat embossing versus um, hot foil stamping is the different equipment required. You need to have a die cutting machine and a hot foil um, system along with foils. For heat embossing you really only need your heat gun, embossing powder and an uh, ink pad that can be embossed. There's also a larger learning curve with um, hot foiling. Okay so this is done. It's looking quite good and as you can see you can see the lovely sheen from the foil 
it really foiled beautifully, just perfectly. First, first attempt, very impressed. And here's one I prepared earlier. Off camera, I heat embossed this and ink blended it in the same way that I ink embossed the other panel. As you can see, it's the colour's quite different. I think it's pretty. I actually heat embossed this twice using my Misty. I've die cut my images out and popped them on a card base with a black card panel, just for that added thickness. As I mentioned earlier, I've used the Hexigem Sentiments by Spellbinders. Um, one's been better pressed and the other one has been hot foiled. And I'm going to pop them up on pop-up foam just to give them that extra dimension. It's only when I watch these videos back do I realise how much time I waste just making sure that the placement's correct and that it's straight and it looks right. I swear, I could be a quick card maker if I didn't faff about so much. And of course I've got to put on some gems or some crystals or something just to finish it. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm just using pink fresh um, gold pearls. And I think I end up popping three on each card. And we're all done with the crystals and the cards are finished. So with Sympathy is the card done with hot foil stamping. And I think it's so elegant and smooth. I think this one's my favourite. And Hello Friend has been done with double embossing. And I think it's quite stunning with the thick gold lines but probably not my favourite. Be sure to comment which one you like the most. Thanks for watching. Till next time.